اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاۃ والسلام علی خاتم النبین و علی آلہ و اصحابی اجمعین برحمت کا یا رحم الرحمین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ Today I want to uh, say something about the pregnancy and delivery of uh, Maryam alayhi salam. Mary, the mother of Prophet Isa alayhi salam, that is Jesus. Uh, I am taking the story uh, shortly from the verses of Surah Maryam. Uh, Surah Maryam uh, is the chapter in the name of Mary in the Holy Quran. And the verses here start from verse number 16 until 33, uh, I have the short story. And, and here I will just uh, say the, the, the translation of the verses. A'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajim, bismillahi rahmani rahim. And mentioned in the book, that is, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mentioned in the, in the book, in the Quran, the story of Maryam, that is Mary. When she withdrew in seclusion from her family to a place facing east, she placed a screen to screen herself from them. Then we sent to her our Ruh, and Ruh means the angel Jibreel alayhi salam, who is known as Gabriel in the Bible of the Christians. So Allah says that we sent to her our Ruh, that is Jibreel alayhi salam, And he appeared before her in the form of a man in all respects. She said, Verily I seek refuge with the most beneficent Lord from you, if you do fear Allah. The angel said, I am only a messenger from your Lord to announce to you the gift of a righteous son. The words in Arabic are, Ghulaman Zakiya. That means, the righteous and the pious and the holy son. She said, how can I have a son when no man has touched me and I am not an unchaste uh, woman? He said, so it will be. Your Lord said, that is easy for me. And we wish to appoint him as a sign to mankind and a mercy from us and it is a matter decreed by Allah. So Jibreel alayhi salam informed her that Allah says that it is easy for Allah to create a son or a boy without any father and that it will definitely happen because it is a matter decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So she conceived him and she withdrew with him to a far place. Uh, the, the, the explanation says that it was Bethlehem Valley. And the pains of childbirth draw her to the trunk of a date palm. She said, Would that I had died before this and had been forgotten and out of sight. Then a cried unto her from below her, saying, That means a voice came from below her, from the foot end, saying, Grieve not. Your Lord has provided a water stream under you. Uh, these verses mean that Maryam salam was very upset, very much grieved. This thing was not happening according to her will. It was happening according to the will of Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as Allah had decreed this happening. So she was worried because what she would say to people. How did she get uh, a son? And then her delivery was conducted by the angels. And it was an angel who uh, said to her, Grieve not. Your Lord has provided a water stream under you and shake the trunk of date palm towards you. It will let fall fresh ripe dates upon you. So eat and drink and be uh, happy. Cool your eyes. And if you see any human being, say verily, I have vowed a fast unto the most beneficent Allah, so I shall not speak to any human being this day. Then she brought him, that is the baby, to her people, carrying him 
they said oh mary indeed you have brought an amazing thing o sister of harun your father was not a man of evil nor your mother was an unchaste woman then she pointed to him they said how can we talk to him to the one who is a child in the cradle he said that means the child the new born baby in her arms he said verily i am a slave of allah he has made me he has given me the book and made me a prophet and he has made me blessed wherever i am and i and has enjoined upon me salat and zakat as long as i live and has made me dutiful to my mother and made me not oppressive or miserable and salam be upon me the day i was born and the day i die and the day i shall be raised alive this is the story up to 33 verse after that also there are some verses about them and you can find this story in other chapters of the holy quran also but here the special words are about her pregnancy and delivery and i understand from these verses and then for my understanding i made the salatul istikhara the salatul istikhara that is istikhara prayer is a special prayer of two uh, two cycles two rakat optional prayer which we make and then we we ask allah subhanahu wa taala in the matter we are facing so here the matter was i wanted to say to say from these verses of the holy quran that her pregnancy was not for 9 months she became pregnant on the same day and she got begat the son on the same day uh from uh, i have three proofs for this i made istikhara prayer in which we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides us whether we are right or not whether we should say it or not whether we should do it or not but from the holy quran from these verses of the holy quran i understand that there is no no saying about the um uh, uh, about the pregnancy 9 months pregnancy number 1 the words of the quran clearly say that she became she conceived him she conceived it she became pregnant she went to the far place and she got the pains of labor there is no mention of 9 months long duration one thing second thing is i am i am saying thing something from the from the great attributes and qualities of allah subhanahu wa taala allah promised that allah would not allah would not place a burden on a soul that the soul cannot bear now here we see that allah subhanahu wa taala gave her pregnancy and allah subhanahu wa taala didn't force her to explain to people how did she got uh, how did she get this pregnancy and this child rather the angels advised her just to uh, to keep quiet to keep silent and uh, if any if any person asked her point to the baby and point with with points just tell the person that i have word a fast of silence to the beneficent lord so i will not speak to anyone today and then allah subhanahu wa taala miraculously gave the ability to that new born baby isa alaihi salam who spoke like an adult person in the cradle in the arms of the of his, of his mother and the words that he spoke were very beautiful very beautiful he said that i am uh, uh, i am ana abdul abdullah i am uh, a servant of allah uh, and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made me a prophet atani al kitab wa ja'alani nabiyya allah gave me a book and allah made me nabi the prophet and allah made me blessed wherever i am and allah enjoined upon, upon me salat and zakat that means that the obligatory prayer and the uh, charity and uh, also allah made me uh, kind and dutiful to my mother allah didn't made me an oppressive person a miserable person and peace be on me on the day i was born on the day i um, uh, i will die and on the day i will be raised again on the day of judgment so whoever 
heard these words from that little baby, they understood that is a miraculous baby. So the pre pregnancy was also miraculous. Then if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't put the burden on Maryam alayhi salam, that is Mary, to explain to people the birth of that child, then how could it be possible that Allah would have put the burden of nine months, you know, the, the pregnancy cannot be uh, hidden, cannot be kept hidden and uh, in secret. The woman becomes uh, known, uh, especially uh, at five months uh, time, and no, nine months is a long duration. So I understand that it was from the Holy Quran and from the great attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I understand that it was an uh, urgent thing. On the same day pregnancy happened and the baby was born. And then I have in my support also a saying of Ibn Abbas anhu. Abdullah ibn Abbas anhu. He was a companion of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and also was his cousin. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa had taught him the Holy Quran and he was expert in the understanding of the Holy Quran. And from these verses of the Holy Quran, he said, his words are that, here it says, Ibn Abbas who said that as soon as she became pregnant, she gave birth to the child. Also the verse says, no sooner she became pregnant, then she gave birth to the child. So, uh, that was a miraculous uh, pregnancy, mir miraculous uh, delivery, and also miraculous baby, Isa alayhi salam, who was the creation of Allah, who was a human being, who was a prophet of Allah, and a messenger of Allah. He was not God, he was not the son of God. God is a unique being, the creator, the Lord. God has no son, no daughter, no relatives and doesn't need such, such relatives. God has no weakness. No one is like God. Uh, there is nothing like unto God and there is no one like unto God. God is very, very unique being and God has no son or wife or daughter, etc. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wassalamu ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد